again. It's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. And I have, oh, those aren't the right ones. I have three new swipe cloths because I just did a gorgeous little swipe. I have glasses on my face. This is a 18 by 24 inch prime black canvas. And what I just did worked out so well for me that I'm gonna try a variation on that same theme. And I'm not sure, really not sure how I should be doing it other than the fact that if I don't do it the same way, there's no chance it's coming out the same way. So I might as well go for it. And in between my, my areas, I added white pearl. And I might do some of that, but I also might use some black. Um, I would be normally using my, uh, my folk art neon purple, but when it dries on black, it does not really read very well. And I do plan on tipping this, just like I tipped the last one. And I'm going to use the same... Well, I said I'm going to use the same colors, but you can't trust me. <laughs> I changed my mind. And you can see that I'm doing three sections. And I'm going to try and use a swipe color, but I'd like it to be gold. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. So the only way I can find out for us is to go ahead and do that. Um, I used some magenta last time. I used some purple last time. And I may just go through and add some purple like to, into the into the mix. Just like I added the I added a bunch of my neon purple in the last one. I wonder if I have something that's more neon. I have this gorgeous pink. I have another purple over here. I have two more purples over here. Those would work, wouldn't they? Yeah, they would work. I want to try the gold so bad. I had some beautiful blue, and if I can lay my hands on it, let's go ahead and have some magenta while I'm looking for the blue. Because I have eyes in the side of my face. No, I'm kidding. Um, I'm not a freak. I want that blue. It's here. I know it is. That's turquoise. That would look good. I wonder how that would be. Yeah, that's pretty with that. And if I don't use a super, super crazy overabundance of things, I'll probably be happier than if I do. There's the blue. I got it. Yay. Now, blue doesn't generally sell, but I don't know that this particular blue doesn't sell. And since this is twice as long as the rest, I think whatever else I'm going to do, I'm going to have to do. Do I want some? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's... You know what? I'm not sure if I know what that red is called. But it's not the magenta red, or it's just not magenta. It's definitely red. Um, I had a bunch of pink. Where's that pink gone? There it is. Love this pink, and I don't mind it with that red. And I'm just going to change up what I've got here a little bit. I didn't put any orange in last time, and I was thinking it would be nice. I really want to put some of this purple in, even though I know it won't show up. I just want it. <laughs> What can I say? I'm spoiled brat. I'm going to go for it. That's the pink. That's the purple. All right. So now what else can I have in here that I didn't put in already? That was the turquoise. So I can put some... Do I want green? No. I know what I'm missing. This is what I'm missing. Right there. It does not have to be the same, but I kind of want it to be similar. I really want something here. Do I want that again? No, I don't. I want some purple there again. That is a beautiful pink color, which is different than the pink colors we have. I don't know what's going to happen when I tip this, especially because we're saving. We're, we may or may not be saving the background. I'm just going to put some white down and try and fill things. And I'm not going to worry. I'm going to try not to worry about where things are not going. And I'm going to look now and see if I want some black in there. Actually, what I used last time was the Prussian blue, and I liked it a lot. The temptation is going to be to um, use some gold in there. It usually disappears, so I'm not overly impressed. I think I'm going to go with purple as the swipe color. 
and I might give myself permission to put a little more of this teal so we have something a little let's just go ahead and give me permission to um, use the gold because the Prussian blue and the gold sell yeah it's coming out sideways sell really well together I kind of feel like I don't have enough of that green in there. And I kind of like the idea of putting some in there. I'm trying to get it in the same place every time. Put that on that white. That's over there. What am I missing? Anything? <laughs> no, it's all there for sure. I'm going to do turquoise there. That's a color shift. And I don't, I just realized I do not have an edge catcher big enough to catch all of this painting when it runs, so it's going to be a mess, but it's going to be my mess. So let's just find the biggest one I possibly can and use that. I also have a stretcher bar on the back of this, which should help. So if I start that way. and let it run over, and I should be able to turn it around the other way and do the same thing. All right, so we have plenty of color on the canvas and I could just call it done right now and that's pretty much what I said the last time, but it was worth doing, so I'm gonna do it. Wow, am I really? Oh my goodness, I want purple for my pull color. I wonder what would happen if I used my purple neon. I don't dare. I really don't. And I shouldn't use, I want something dark. I'm thinking it's got to be the purple or it's got to be the black. So let's go with the purple. Whoops. <laughs> Mistake. Okay. Well, never mind. We'll figure it out. So I need to go from this end there and then that end there and it's all going to be fine. It'll come out in the wash. So I'm not going to worry about going down over the edge, but I am going to worry about dipping that rag in. Bringing it back around. Come on, back around. I'm going to put that rag down behind me and let the paint drain off it. Looks like I really didn't need three rags, but that's okay because we're going to do it anyway. I want to go from the other direction, but I want that purple paint there that I meant to use as my swipe color, so I'm just going to let that drip down over the edge. And then I'm going to start from this way. I probably did not need yeah, same thing on this side. I probably did not need to have the black canvas. But that's okay, because I'm good with it. I'm going to do the same thing I just did with the other one and put it behind me. And now I am going to, I started from that way, so now I'm going to start from over here. Maybe I'm going to use one of those, because they seem to have plenty of color on them. I don't think I've ever done a swipe on a canvas this size or shape, whatever, and uh, I'm not unhappy that I did. I am going to throw my rags in the bucket, even though they have beautiful paint colors on them, and I could probably do something with them. No, i throw them in the bucket. Let's see if I... Oh, I did get some paint off of one of these, and I have a place I want to change. And that is a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula. And in lieu of a swipe rag, I think I'm just going to give myself permission to do that. Because agitated paint will often sell, and I guess we'll find out in a minute. 
Doesn't matter that there's some gaps. She says that she fills them anyway. OCD. <laughs> Never mind. I'm not going to worry about what's over the edge, and I might still cover it with the with the paint that I have, and I probably could have done so if I'd have thought about it before. Let's see if I can move fully back into your picture. Let's see if I got. Now I wanted to do one of these where I could um, just add a whole bunch of spirals, but I don't think that this is the one I want to do that on. I think I just want to let this one be. Oops. Stuck my thumb in it. That's all right. Don't tell. I've got that purple over there, which I don't actually hate. But if I put a little something else in it, it might, uh, it might agitate it enough to give us some cells. Because that's the purple and the... Well, that didn't take very long, and um, that's kind of cool. I'm going to run my fingers along underneath the edge, get the excess paint off. And there really wasn't that much excess paint. But by the same token, I can take whatever I find and stick it on the edge if I want. And I do kind of want. I'm not going not gonna to worry, but if I got it on my hands already, I might as well use it, right? And this might go into a show I have coming up right quick. I don't want too much in the way of a fork mark there, but I've got some. Boy, that's tempting. Hey, some of my gold came through, which is really neat. Not unhappy with that at all. I'm trying to fake out the, the missing bits. Not minding the black. Got beautiful hands. <laughs> oh. And I can easily touch up my edges with that black underneath. That seems to work like a charm. So I should tell you, because we're done, basically, other than me torching to release the bubbles in the paint, which I'll do in a moment, uh, if there are any, um, to shop my Amazon link for the OXO omelet turning spatula and the uh, OXO omelet turning spatula. Best paint spreading tool around and the uh, Princeton Artel Catalyst Spatulas. Those are both on the Amazon link, along with my book called Because I Can. I'm just touching up the edges because there's paint dripping down over, and uh, if I don't over tap it, it'll all just blend in beautifully. And I have that black spot there, and I don't want it, so I'm going to fake it out. And I did. And it didn't seem while well, I did two. Two in one direction, one in the other, but don't ask me where. You can do any little tweaks you need to. I need to rinse my hands off and tell you guys that underneath the video is the paint pouring recipe mixture, and you can ask me about the recipe for, um, for the golden mica powder if you need it. And you can ask me any other questions you need, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And sometimes that's fast, and sometimes it's not. But uh, you can also buy my artwork if you're interested in purchasing something. Just ask me through the YouTube communication system, and uh, I'll get back to you. I also give lessons at the house in Spring Hill. And if you take a lesson, you wind up with two paintings. I do two, two demonstrations, and you wind up with two paintings. And uh, I make sure that we're happy with what you get. Because I will help you as much or as little as you so desire. And uh, that is a bug. And that is a bug right in. Goodbye, bug. Okay. So this is completely gorgeous. And I'm not the least bit unhappy I did it. And I'm going to be experimenting with uh, variations on a theme over time. And maybe less wide rags. And I might use black canvas in the background again just because um, I don't have to think too much about it and I can just let the spaces be if I want to be not that I do obviously steal a little paint so if you want to help donate to the studio to keep the keep me painting and thank you to everybody who has so far you can through PayPal and Patreon and if you do you are involved in this month's contest or any month's contest. 
every month has a contest, and usually on the end screens, the last 20 seconds of this video, you can find a video when, I'm, when I finally get it produced. And if you donate in the meantime, I still send you a receipt of that include, and include you in the contest. And, uh, wow, brain cramp. Um, what else do I need to tell you? I don't know. <laughs> I love you. There's, over, there's almost 89,000 of you as I'm, as I'm doing this today, which means there's probably more very shortly. If there are little spaces you can see inside your painting that bother you, don't let them bother you. Fix them. Do something. Do something gently. Because uh, with artwork, it's where the eye goes. I want to be a little careful there because I just because I just firmed up the surface of the painting, and that means excuse me, I'm focused. All right, so this is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida, at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard, being pretty happy with my results and. Uh, inviting you to try this and recommending it thoroughly because it doesn't take that long and you just have to do what I did and you will come out with a variation that is pretty darn close as long as you use similar colors and if you don't use similar colors then it'll be all your own creation not that it wouldn't be anyway anyway I gotta keep that skewer out of there because it's a little bit firm but I love this piece so thank you for joining me and I will see you again in another video please give me a thumbs up to tell the YouTube algorithm that you want to help me have my videos seen by more people and that's what will happen as a result of you giving me a thumbs up. Also, on the end screens you'll find a playlist with over 650, probably over 670 videos. And uh, it, the longer you watch a video including the commercials, the more likely I am to to make a paycheck and um, if I make a paycheck it'll make me want to come back and make more videos for you guys. So it's, uh, it's something that one hand washes the other and it works for all of us. I love you guys. I told you that already. I can't stop telling you. I love you. <laughs> all right. This is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida. I did all that already. All right. Priscilla out. I'll see you again sometime soon. Bye for now.